Hey friends, Miranda here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another cooking session. So today we're gonna make a super easy pasta. It's really, really good. Um, it's cilantro based and uh, yeah, you guys, it's very easy to make. Um, so with that said, today, obviously the main ingredient, you will need cilantro. It's about like a cup and a half of cilantro. You'll also need about a cup and a half of sour cream about a quarter block of cream cheese, half an onion, about two tablespoons or so, or uh, like two uh, um, pieces of garlic. Uh, so we got that. You also need some shredded cheese of your choice. Last time for this recipe, I used mozzarella and I really enjoyed it and I forgot to pick some up, so I just have Colby Jack, which is totally fine. Again, it's your preference of cheese. Um, you also need some chicken or suiza here, or even just salt. You will also need milk, and you will also need a pasta of your choice. The last time I made this, I used spaghetti noodles. Today, I'm just going to be using some fettuccine. Um, and so yeah, we really enjoyed this recipe last time I made it, so I decided I'm gonna make it again and share with you guys how it's made. Um, super easy, that's all the ingredients that you need, though I will be adding shrimp to mine, but that is totally optional. You could add shrimp, you could add um, like chicken if you wanted to, like you know, shrimps chicken or something, but that would be like at the very, very end of the recipe. You don't have to, you can eat it just as is, you guys, and it's totally fine. That's how we did last time, but today I feel like adding some shrimp so I'm going to do up some shrimp and add that in at the end. But anywho, let's go ahead and get in how to do this recipe. So for this recipe, you guys, you only need half of the onion. And all you're going to do is just kind of cut it up into some pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to just saute this a little bit with the two tablespoons or two pieces of garlic. And um, just saute it in some butter and that will be that. All right, so like I said, just melt some butter, pop in the onions and the garlic, and you're just going to saute it for a couple minutes. This is all just for the uh, flavor infusion, you guys. All right, so um, while your noodles are cooking, we're going to go ahead and make the sauce. So in here, you are going to put the cilantro, which I have already cleaned and everything, so we're going to put the cilantro in there, as well as the sour cream. Mm, this is roughly a cup and a half of sour cream. Then your cream cheese, you guys, you want to make sure that it is at room temperature. We're going to add a quarter block of cream cheese. I can get it open. All right, quarter block of cream cheese going in. All right, so you're also going to add in the onion and garlic mix. So I did go ahead and add that in there. At this point, you want to go ahead and add in either your salt or your chicken, nor suiza. And then you're also going to go ahead and add in the cheese, about a cup of shredded cheese, you guys. Right. And then to help blend it, I'm going to add in some milk, about a cup or so, just kind of depends. Um, start off with a cup and just kind of add as you go, blend it as best you can because this is going to turn green, you guys. It's going to, you just want everything to get incorporated well, blend it a good while until it's green. Um, but again, if you need more milk, just kind of add as you go, blend. If it's not blending, add some more until you get it to a uh, perfect consistency. All right, and when it's fully blended, you guys, everything's incorporated well. There's not like any chunks of, uh, you know, cheese or other things hiding inside. It should look like that, nice and green. Um, it's okay that you see kind of like some, uh, you know, pieces of uh, the cilantro there because obviously it's not going to, you know, fully get every little piece. But it should look something like this, you guys. 
Um, so let's go ahead and continue on. All right, you guys. So next up, that pan where you sauteed the onion and the garlic, you're going to go ahead and add in the sauce to it. Just going to heat it up and add in the sauce. The sauce now, you don't want it to boil, you guys. So we're just going to add it in uh, and we're going to let it just kind of, you know, mix it around, let it incorporate a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and add in the noodles, you guys. It smells so good. Like I said, this was a total hit with the family the last time I made it. So I'm very excited to be having it again, you guys. Just like that and then little by little we're gonna go ahead and add in the noodles here again use whatever kind of pasta you want to use you guys it's totally up to you just little by little and I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate this give it a good mix Uh, when I made it, the kids, they like freaked because the pasta was green. But you guys, <laughs> it may look weird, but it is delicious. For me, I found the, um, the, the flavor not to be like super overpowering. Um, I thought it was just the perfect blend of like cilantro and then with like the cheeses and the cream and all of that. It was just, it, it was really good, you guys. So I'm excited to have it again. And in the event that the sauce ends up being too thick or you feel like it needs a little bit more sauce, then just go ahead and add in a little bit more milk to, uh, you know, make it not so thick. Go ahead and add in some more noodles. I did make a lot of noodles here, you guys, so I probably won't use all of it. Probably just save the rest and, like, use them for something else. All right, so now that that's all mixed in, like I said, I did go ahead and just make up some shrimp. I just sauteed them in butter, and that was it, nothing else. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed in. All right, and there you have it, you guys. I'm telling you, this is so good, so creamy, so flavorful. Um, and if you feel that you need to add in, like, some more salt or the chicken nor, you could do that as it's in the pan here and like incorporating it and then you know feel free to just add on top some like parmesan cheese there because I mean it is pasta you know so yeah you guys hopefully you give it a try let me know if you do enjoy enjoy thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video guys bye